Hello and welcome once again to another TARDIS Era to Tarm video blog. Today I want to look at the Leisure Hive, which is the beginning of the John Nathan Turner era, which is generally cited as having a major technical increase in the visual literacy and visual sophistication of the show. This isn't completely wrong. It's actually a fairly good point, but it's easy not to understand quite what happened and what the difference was. So what I want to do is compare a scene from Creature from the Pit, one season earlier, by the same writer, with a scene from The Leisure Hive. We'll start with the Creature from the Pit scene. Plot-wise, these two sequences are almost the identical. Creature. The villain is no. revealed and attacked by monsters. I refuse. But look how I static the frame is on this. Throughout this no. entire scene, we no. keep a fairly consistent camera. Even there, when we cut into Adrasta's legs as the wolf weeds attack her, we're staying within a very narrow range of angles on the scene. We never go behind Tom Baker and behind Lala Ward to the side that's a wall. This is essentially theatrical. This is just a stage on which these events are taking place, and all the camera is doing is showing us a couple of close-ups and perspectives within this common stage. ...which had precisely the opposite problem, and we thought that a trading agreement would be mutually beneficial. It's lies! Lies! It's all lies! Oh! No, it is you who are lying. Unfortunately, I ran foul of this evil woman who tricked me into the pit. If you will forgive me, I have a score to settle. Here even we have the relative action. Sadrasta is attacked by the wolf reeds and by a rod. But the camera isn't moving off that close of plane. Even there where she falls, it's just a close-up from one of the familiar angles that you can see in the scene. It's a very, very static, flat composition. All we're doing is shot reverse shot, a very standard cinematic technique to show varying people's reactions. There's not a lot going on. This belongs yes. firmly to the theatrical tradition that's governed her? Doctor Who since way the back in the Earth. So Even though the sequence in the Leisure Hive has basically the same plot function, what it looks like is completely different. For one thing, you're going to notice that there are a lot more. For another thing, look how the camera is working in much closer view, and it's even giving you perspectives that are equivalent to those of the characters. In a moment, we're going to begin a huge series of very fast cuts around the room, and note how we don't stay on that single theatrical plane anymore. In fact, we start getting characters' eyes, which sort of guide us through the space and show us how to reconstruct the scene out of the edits. You can see these close-ups and these very quick zooms in and out that are treating everything like objects instead of just like a space that is being looked at. That's the big difference of the John Nathan Turner. We adopt a cinematic perspective that's even a lot like the movie Alien, where we're moving inside of a space instead of looking at a space. It's a very, very big difference in how stories are told. And that's the big shift that people talk about when they talk about the shift between the William Zero and the Nathan Turner. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find more of my commentary on my blog at tardiseradatorum.blogspot.com. Look forward to seeing you again.